The city of New York is dropping big bucks on a new initiative to combat bedbugs. Yes, bedbugs. The $500,000 educational campaign will include a new health department task force. It will also pay for a website de designed to teach new New Yorkers how to prevent and treat bedbug infestations, what to look for in an exterminator, and how to safely dispose of infected items. Bedbug infestations have been on the rise in New York City, affecting apartments, retail stores, schools, and hospitals. Bedbugs are making a comeback, but not just in New York City. According to a study this year, bedbug calls have increased 81% since 2000. So how can you protect yourself? Should you protect yourself? Dr. Bill Lloyd is back with us from Sacramento, California with some tips. Uh, every day this summer, about 2 million Americans are staying in hotels and motels, uh, Dr. Bill. Now we hear uh, there's an upsurge in bed bugs. Uh, I've been told I can refer to you as Dr. Bill. I hope it's okay. Okay, we haven't spoken before. Uh, Dr. Bill, what can you tell us about these little critters? Good to talk to you, Jim. And yes, the summer of the bed bugs. How many times have you seen a couple necking and you scream out, hey, get a room? Now you scream, hey, get a clean room. Because these bed bugs are small. They're about the size of an apple seed, but they don't carry any infectious diseases. It's true they can bite you, and the bite can leave a little irritation the next day. If you've ever woken up and thought, I had a mosquito bite last night, it probably, it probably was a bed bug. I've got a list of some things, simple things that you can do to protect yourself whenever you're on the road to protect yourself from these bed bugs. The first thing is check out the room, and that means get rid of the bedspread. The bedspread that's probably never cleaned. It can be a home to a lot of these bed bugs. Take a close look at the mattress, along the ribbing and the seams and wherever the stitchings are. Go ahead and pull the sheets down. It's worth it taking a look. And if you don't like what you find, go get another room. Check out the bed frame. If there's any upholstered furniture in the room, you're going to want to uh, inspect for bed bugs as well. And one important tip is once you empty your luggage, don't put it under the bed or in the closet, Jim. Put it in the bathroom because those hard tile surfaces uh, repel the bugs. The bugs have no place to stay. They go back to the bedspread. Your luggage is safe. Wow, that's a good tip. I hadn't thought about that. And I spent a lot of room, uh, time on the road in hotel rooms. And I, it makes me wonder whether or not the hotels are doing a good job of cleaning you know, the sheets and the linens and everything else. Is it because they're being a little too relaxed with that? Uh, that we're seeing more of these bed bug uh, infestations pop up? Well, you know, people want to jump on the hotels. But guess what? When you stay in a hotel, what do you want? You want a late checkout. And what about the next party down in the lobby? Oh, they true. want an early check-in. So there's really not that much time for them to properly clean these rooms. I want to sleep what? with no the bed bugs. That's not... the thing I want to do. <laughs> All right. Well, the thing is, it's the guests that bring the bed bugs into the rooms. The hotels didn't create them. Somebody was there before you and brought those bed bugs in. Important point, when you go home, make sure you don't continue the cycle. Make sure you vacuum out your luggage when you get home and end the cycle of the bed bugs. People and talk about older hotels versus newer hotels. Yeah. Is one cleaner than the other? Yeah. Well, tell us about some simple precautions that we can take to protect ourselves from uh, bed bugs. Is there a, a bed bug repellent uh, that we should be looking for on our, on our pharmaceutical shelves here? No? Yes? No? No, no repellents. There's a couple <laughs> of things you can do. If you're a real germaphobe, you can bring your own sheets. Bring one queen size sheet and throw it over the entire bed after you get rid of the bedspread, of course. If you want, you can wear pajamas. Be sure you wear a light pair of socks as well to protect your body surfaces. If you do get a bite, you can rub a little toothpaste on it to get rid of the irritation. There's no medications per se to protect you from bed bugs, but inspecting your room beforehand is the most important thing you can do to protect yourself from getting a bed bug. Bug bite. All right. Anything else we need to know here? I mean, this is uh, this is serious business here. What else do we need to know? Well, uh, I'm not I'm not so worried about infectious disease from the bed bugs, but this whole story illuminates the issue of hotel sanitation. And when yeah. you get into a hotel room, you want to check out and make sure they did a proper job. Just one example: the favorite, the ice bucket. Jim, I got news for you. Ice ice buckets in hotel rooms are used for everything else <laughs> but besides ice. Stay away from it. Where did that the ice go? Control. Bill? It's filthy. The viruses can stay for 24 hours. Bring a, a disinfectant wipe if you'd like and protect yourself when you're in the hotels. All right. Well, uh, Dr. Bill, those are great tips there. And I tell you, those bed bugs uh, are, are nasty. So uh, that is great advice uh, on, on how to deal with those little guys and some stuff that I hadn't heard before. And I consider myself a bit of a road warrior, somebody who knows how to travel. Uh, Dr. Bill, thanks for those tips. Appreciate it. We'll talk again soon. Sounds good.